Hey, Six Now, reopen America from the beaches of California to the streets of the Motor City, from the home of our Bill of Rights in Virginia to right outside Independence Hall in Philadelphia, the birthplace of the United States Constitution. We the people are letting various governors know, loud and clear, no uncertain terms, that we are mad as hell and we're not going to take it anymore. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, it's going to be a weekend of discontent. And, you know, the media is going to try and ignore it. The governor is going to try and ignore it. But the bottom line, there's a lot of discontent out there. And this is just one example. I want to highlight a couple of rallies. This is the first one. This one is in an area called Encinitas, California. This is in San Diego County, right on the beach. They call it the shred the tidal wave of tyranny. I guess that's basically California surfer speak there. But God bless them. They're going to go out and they're going to do what's called is a paddle out where surfers go out and they they kind of huddle together and they're, they're protesting. And this is what should be happening. It's very important because what we're hearing in the mainstream media is mis and disinformation, uh, largely, Barry, especially when the media reports that people are being affected by the pandemic, by the virus. No. They're not being affected. Most Americans are not being affected by the virus. They're being affected by the response by government. The cure has gotten much worse than the disease, Graham. And not only are the people protesting, but in certain cases, finally, the legislatures are fighting back. In Michigan, as we speak, there is talk of the Michigan legislature figuring out how to limit Governor Whitmer's slut a shutdown of the economy and all civil and individual liberties and i hope they take an aggressive approach it's their own party fighting against them and yet they are siding with the people to say freedom of assembly is okay freedom of speech is okay freedom of protest is okay and yet in california public meetings and protests are now being banned. In other words, they're saying to Californians, you don't have First Amendment rights anymore right. because we, the governor's office, has made a decision that the First Amendment doesn't apply anymore. I can't wait for the courts to hear this tested. Well, it depends on what kind of judge they're in front of. Uh, let's face it, in San Diego on Sunday. So that first protest is Saturday. In San Diego proper on Sunday, there's another uh, protest. And these are being knocked down on Facebook. It's inconceivable what Facebook is doing. They're knocking down these cries for liberty and these cries for people to come together and, and rally. The media is complicit in, in the governors trying to suppress constitutional rights. And in San Diego County, I checked, there's a high school named Patrick Henry. Patrick Henry High School. This is what is happening in San Diego and in California as a whole and in Michigan and in pockets of North Carolina, Virginia, various states across, even in Minnesota. They're pushing back right there. And the mainstream media is framing this as pockets of resistance. And you know what that smacks of, Barry? It reminds me of when they used to report about Ray Ronald Reagan and how they used to report about the Tea Party and how they used to talk about Donald Trump and his run for the presidency. Just pockets of support. Well, you picked my high school, and I appreciate that as a former Patrick Henry Patriot <laughs> graduate. I can tell you that in California, the pushback has gotten extreme. And like you pointed out, Facebook is now censoring content that they deem to be outside of the uh, party line Get this, Graham. They are using who? Guidelines. World Health Organization guidelines. And if you say anything that doesn't jive with the who, you know, the same who that covered this up for weeks and weeks yep. and continues to pile compliments on China, they will remove your post from Facebook as undesirable, unsubstantiated content. Meaning, if you outside the rule make a comment, you don't exist anymore, and your communication will be censored. Boy, I guess the First Amendment doesn't apply at Facebook anymore either, does it? No, it doesn't. One more time, then, uh, for folks in Los Angeles, you know, in areas not far from San Diego, 
Los Angeles, maybe even all the way up to the Bay Area, Phoenix, Las Vegas. It's 1 o'clock on Sunday. This is going to be the big one, uh, I believe. And we go to the next slide, Julie. Here's some hotels. Barry, I'm giving people hotels. Uh, there's a place called the Catamaran Hotel, the Bahia Resort. And if you want to go cheap, you go to the Best Western Mission Bay. It's only $65 a night. I should add that the woman who's behind all this, uh, who came on this show, this program courageously earlier in the week, there's uh, a warrant out for her arrest for standing up for her and others' constitutional rights. It's unbelievable we're living through this. Barry, thank you.